Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Gary Stevens. And there are a number of converged systems that that HP has built uh, for for a variety of applications. Yeah. How does that all kind of come together as one cohesive unit? Very good question, Jake. Converged systems, think of it more of as, as a kind of a framework rather than specific portfolio solutions. So, for example, we have converged system for Vertica, we have converged system for HANA, converged system for virtualization, converged system for hosted desktop. And there's a lot of common architectures that are in all of them, and there's also some uniqueness. And that uniqueness is there by design because we're trying to do a purpose-built solution, but we want to leverage as much intellectual property and experience that we have when it makes sense and then when it needs to be unique, just make it unique for that one solution, but do it by design, not by accident. So if somebody needs two or three of the different solutions, then in, in theory, they would all fit nicely together and, and play well together because they're, they're kind of at least architected from a, a common beginning? Absolutely. In fact, uh, we could do that. let's pick um, the storage environment as an example. We've taken uh, from the vast array of HP portfolios for storage and we've chosen, say, two or three core building blocks that if the solution requires storage, it's going to be one of those. So the advantage there to the customer is that they're not having to increase their skill sets for their administrators because we're focused on just a core set of components. Same thing for management. If you look at HP OneView, that's a common management framework across all of the convert systems. So if they learn one management for, say, convert system for HANA, then it's the same management for the other system. So it's, again, it's you know, min minimizing how much uplift the customer has to do to manage multiple convert systems. So it sounds like one of the big uh, big wins for the, the customer then is that they get some efficiencies around people skills and that they that they don't have to relearn every time there's a, a new converged system that they want to deploy. Are there are there other um, kind of big customer wins there that are like that? Yeah. So um, skill set uh, is good to you know minimize how much you need to have for your IT staff. Um, in addition to that, it's all around uh, procurement and, and kind of interaction with who their supplier is. So if you have a large enterprise customer and they're looking to do business with uh, HP around converged systems, their partner that they go through will probably have access to all of the converged systems or if they deal directly with HP, the sales interaction will be someone who is cognizant and aware of all the solutions and therefore it makes their acquisition easier in addition to the long-term management because of the simplified skill sets. So it's kind of a, we're trying to give you value if you're a customer not only from lifecycle management but also from acquisition and then finally when it becomes time to like expand your solution we have core building block expansion packs so it's easy and, and efficient to only buy what you need so we're trying to make it optimized for acquisition optimized for management and optimized from a financial perspective so all together the full portfolio has all of those advantages built into it now most people's data centers already have some sort of solution deployed in them that isn't a converged system. I mean, maybe maybe servers and racks, maybe they have a, a private cloud configuration. How does the converged system uh, kind of merge with all of that? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, one big thing or one area that we, we definitely want to focus on is whether or not our systems will integrate with existing management frameworks. So if you're, for example, we'll pick virtualization. If you have an existing v VMware environment and you're managing many, many clusters that are not based on converged system, but you want to bring in converged system, can I manage that with my existing structure? Answer, absolutely yes. You have the option to integrate it, or to keep it in a standalone environment. So we provide that flexibility because we do know that customers would like to use as much as they can their existing infrastructure when possible, especially around management. That sounds like it's a, an excellent way to uh, actually get true convergence because I mean, you have to start from a kind of a disjointed set of things probably, yeah. unless, you're, unless you're greenfielding, which almost no one is. Yeah, so that's, an, that's another good point is our, our systems are designed to, to, to kind of co co-operate uh, or cohabitate with existing configurations and where possible 
integrate into that existing infrastructure. So again, we talk, let's talk about backup and recovery as an example. If our solution is based on converged system, because of the open architecture, any existing backup environment that you have today, backup software and backup hardware, should integrate with that new converged system. And then when the time comes for existing infrastructure that you're, that you're using to go end of cycle, you can then acquire a converged system, replace it, and that's how you slowly move from a kind of do-it-yourself piecemeal environment to a, a, a pure or more homogeneous converged system environment. But you can do it one piece at a time or ever one system at a time. So it's like converging on the, the singularity of the data center? It is. Converging on the singularity of the data center. Nice phrase. All right. Well, thanks, Gary. Thank you.